So my man's FoosyTube, the self-proclaimed Tupac of YouTube, planned an event within seven days. It was supposed to be like the free Coachella, but as you can imagine with an event planned in literally seven days, it did not go well at all. FoosyTube was trying to convince people that Drake was going to show up at the event, but instead we got this rapper Lit Poppy. That's right, we about to get lit like a big, but we gonna do it one more time for everybody over here, alright? One, two, three, sing it! Lit, lit like a big, hey. all these bitches on my dick, hey. and they fuck me, and they thick, hey. and you know I'm with the shit, so hey. you know I'm about to hit! Oh my god, I just feel bad for the dude, his mom needs to come get him. And you just know he was like, alright, Lit Poppy, you can do this. This is your opportunity to show the world. Honestly, he has no music talent, so he should just be a YouTuber. Like, the only reason I make videos is because my only talent is being like a douche who complains a lot. Anyway, Drake was never actually supposed to be at the event. What Fousey did was convince himself that he could will Drake into existence at the event with the power of his mind. Fousey believes in the law of attraction, which is like some new age philosophy shit. It basically says that like, you can will stuff to happen if you think positive thoughts. So for example, if I were to be like, I'm gonna reach a million followers on Twitter in two days, and I really convinced myself of that, then it would happen. Follow my Twitter, by the way, link in description. Let's see if the law of attraction really works, okay? Two million in two days. My point is, Fousey actually believed that Drake was gonna be at the event, even though no evidence showed he was, and he never scheduled to be there. What I'm saying is, Fousey is not a fully sane man right now, like, he's not fully down to earth with the rest of us. I love to goof on him as much as the next guy, but you gotta acknowledge that something's going on. You might be thinking, like, shut the fuck up, Muggy, he's not going insane, he's just kinda stupid. But Fousey has bipolar disorder, which is characterized by, like, extreme ups and downs in emotions. So it's generally agreed by the community that right now he's going through a manic phase, which means you're at an extreme high and you just, you just feel like you can do anything and you're like a god and you just spend all your money because it doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. It's just a material object. Fuck materialism, man. Fousey has went through probable manic phases before, like when he said he was going to go homeless for a year and give up all material possessions. There have also been other times when he was severely depressed and wanted to kill himself. So what's happening now is probably just another one of the highs in his life. I'm not saying this is like a sure thing because I don't fucking know, I'm not a goddamn doctor, but it seems very likely that that's what's happening right now, and after the manic high comes the depressed crash. Look at this clip from a podcast that took place after the event, and just tell me that this is a sane man. One of the teams, so I don't know whether it's country, and I don't know whether it's John Fitz, I can't confirm this. Mm -hmm. One of them two told the police I was shouting that I had a bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to answer? I mean, like, do you not think that's, like, the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Can I answer now? Yeah, sure. I give you the floor, so can I get the floor now? Oh, absolutely. Right. Drama in your life starts way before July 15th. You live your life through drama. You stream drama. You profit off of drama. Everything you do is for content. Uh -huh. You're running away from the cops every day of your life. Uh -huh. You're living in fear. You're getting in fights with your friends. You're getting in fist fights. You're getting slapped for people uh -huh. because that's the life you're choosing to live. Yeah. Gator, gator. So I have no doubt <laughs> that the you. energy that you walk around with attracted itself to the venue. I'm not saying it was your fault. I'm uh -huh. not saying it was you. I'm not saying it was your audience. <clears throat> but the issue here isn't country. It isn't John Fitzpatrick. <laughs> it's how you live your life as so a person. So you're saying because of my energy, it justifies the fact that one of your staff shouted, you lit that, told, lied to the police. You manifested it into for, your life. I manifested that one of your staff member <laughs> True. would Read lie the to secret. the police and commit a criminal offense Read by providing- Read the secret. Because you live your life that way every day. I okay, I never thought I would side with Sam Pepper in a debate, but watch the next part. This is where it gets fucking insane. If you want to smoke and talk outside, we can do that, but I have nothing left to say to you here on air. We can handle this like real man off air if you want to continue the conversation. But, I've addressed but here on point, and you, did, you just deflected. Talk to me outside then if you want to continue off the stream. What does that mean though? It means talk to me like why the- But like, why would you want- Okay, because I'm done talking currently to you. People here could you don't be, even understand currently me. people here could be thinking that I'm a bitch or you're a bitch, right? You're lucky I have If we go out there and I never gonna know how it ends. Why, Why would you not want to just have your say and everyone in the world know, yes, Fousey Chew's Because right. I'm a real man and I don't need yes men on the internet to tell me who the fuck I am, you little bitch. Because I don't agree with what anything you've said. What did I do said. before? I DM'd you. I don't agree with anything you do, anything you stand by, how you live your life. We are not the same. I'm a fucking That's champion. Fine. No, You're beta yeah, as fuck. Yeah. I'm an alpha. I'm a lion. You're, uh, you... <sighs> 
Oh, that, oh that's Rawr. a yikes from me on that one. I'm a fucking alpha. I'm a fucking lion, bro. You're just a little incel. You can't get laid. I'm a fucking alpha male lion, bro. You know what? I don't think Fousey's insane anymore. After showing that b little beta, be beta male bitch, Sam Pepper, what's up? I think he's actually perfectly sane. No, but seriously, Fousey does need help. That's pretty much my point of the video. Um, yeah, Fousey, um, take some meds or something, dude. You're, like, clearly unstable, and, uh, yeah, go to a doctor.